In this video, I'll walk you through four different methods you can use to start building pages on Revlo. The first way, and probably the fastest way, is by starting with a template. We have an entire library of templates here that are already styled to your brand styles and are ready to use out of the box. You can preview these templates by hovering over it, by clicking into it, and once you're ready to use it, just press use template, and this will load that template directly into the editor. From here, you can make edits directly through chat using natural language, or you can use edit mode to selectively make edits on specific elements on the page. The second method is simply by telling the chat what you want. So let's say I want a listicle for one of my products. I can just tell it, build me a listicle for. And the cool thing about the chat is that you can actually reference things about your shop directly in line. So let's say I have a product I want to reference or I have specific images, like I have an ad creative. Hey, please build me a page around this ad creative or build me a listicle for this product. Referencing products is super cool because then you don't have to give chat all the context about the product. So like the title, the price, the description, the images. Chat will already have all the context it needs about the product when you reference it. Let's send this. This will take about three to four minutes to generate, but you can always leave this page and come back to check on the progress. Okay, so it took chat about three minutes to generate this entire page. And I think it looks pretty good for like a five word prompt, super open-ended. It was able to generate an entire listicle that includes this buy box here, also a review section and like a CTA section. It's using all the e-commerce CRO best practices to generate the basic layout and skeleton for your page, which is pretty cool. From here, you can just go ahead and make edits with chat or you can update the copy using edit mode. The next method is for all my designers out there who love using Figma. Sometimes it's just easier to create designs in Figma and then implement them after. So what you can do is just grab any Figma file Let's say I have this landing page here. Look for a Figma plugin that allows you to export React JSX code. So this plugin tends to work pretty well. Go under Tailwind and you see here it says React JSX. You just copy all that code and paste that directly into chat. Tell it, hey, can you recreate this Figma design for me using styles from my design library? All right, so this is what chat was able to generate using the code we exported from Figma. And I would say it's pretty close, like layout wise, probably would have taken me a few hours to get here on a drag and drop editor. But in just under two minutes, we were able to use chat to get us to about 70% of the way there. All right, the last method and probably our most requested feature is being able to drop in a screenshot and replicate that screenshot exactly. So let's say, for example, I want to recreate this screenshot right here. All you need to do, take a screenshot, drag that into chat, and tell it, hey, can you recreate this screenshot for me? I also like to include as much context as possible. So for example, if I already have all these image assets, I'll add that directly in my prompt so that the final output is as close to final as possible. So for images, use, and I already have all the links here. Go ahead and send it. All right, so this is what chat was able to generate. It looks pretty close. There's small tweaks here and there. I might make this copy a little bit bigger, so yeah, this feature is really cool and it'll enable you to build so much more. If you're ever looking at a website and you're like, I actually really like this section. All you need to do is screenshot it, tell chat to recreate it for you. And you don't even need to lift a finger. 